I'm Gregory Lise. I'm a researcher here in the Melanoma Department at MD Anderson Cancer Center. We've been developing new combination therapies for the treatment of melanoma patients with advanced disease. And when I say combination therapies, I mean therapies that combine two different approaches for treating cancer. One is immune therapies, whereby we activate the patient's own immune system to fight their cancer and one which is targeted therapies whereby we use drugs to attack certain pathways that are causing the tumor cells to grow in the body. Immune therapies historically have worked very well for melanoma treatment and we do that by activating killer T cells that are present in our own bodies and help us to fight viral infections. And we found that immune therapies work very very well for melanoma. Now last year the FDA approved a new drug for melanoma treatment called Vemurafenib which is a targeted therapy that targets a molecule called BRAF inside of tumor cells. Now BRAF is something that we've found in the laboratory can lead to active immune suppression. In other words, can lead to T cells to uh, lose their function and not be as effective in patients. And so one thing that we're working towards now is trying to combine together these two areas of targeted therapies and immune therapies because we think that they'll work very well together for the benefit of our patients. This is something that's very gratifying for me as a scientist in the lab because it allows me to take some of my laboratory findings directly to patients in the clinic. And this is something that's very exciting and something that really there's not very many places in the world that we can do this uh, other than MD Anderson Cancer Center. So we're hoping that by combining together these two areas, immune therapies and targeted therapies of the BRAF oncogene using Vemurafenib, we're going to have much better, longer lasting responses for metastatic melanoma patients with advanced disease.